Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Miss BT here, coming to you guys today with another video. And today we are finally sharing our DIY Wi-Fi. to finally share how we achieved this DIY built-in wine bar. We built this bar with our own two hands and we are so proud of our work. So if you guys are interested in seeing how we did this DIY style, keep on watching. All right, so this is the before. This is pretty much the only before shot that I could find. <laughs> um, but this is what we started out with, y'all, like super bare. Um, so what we're going to do here is just remove the baseboards first. And we're just using a box cutter to cut through the um, caulk that is on the baseboards. Kind of start getting that separated. Uh, and then we use a Dremel osculating tool. Um, I say osculating. Maybe it's oscillating. Anyways, it's up here on the screen. <laughs> so this is the tool that we use to uh, cut through the actual baseboard itself so that we can pry that off the wall. And as you can see, I got my man's working hard, okay? <laughs> He had a battle with this baseboard, but once he got into a good groove, he was able to snap the rest of them off fairly easy. Um, and the baseboards actually were not being held by much, which was a little concerning. <laughs> But here is a shot afterwards. As you can see, we left a little tiny bit of baseboard there. Um, it's a bit damaged, but you'll see how I fix that in a little bit. But this is where our cabinets are going to go. And we are putting the cabinets on carpet. So we did experience a little bit of uneven because where the space is, that flooring right there is not very even. But we figure out kind of some ways around it. So you guys will see throughout the video. But, um, but the cabinets themselves fit perfectly and then you can see where we left the baseboard. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and repair that damaged baseboard. So as you can see, I'm just pulling off the uh, old caulk there so that it's nice and clean and then I'm gonna pull off the caulk on the top of this part as well and then I basically just bring out new caulk um, which it's super helpful to have a caulk gun um, it made it so much easier to kind of get the caulk everywhere with like where I needed it to be um, and less stress on my hands but what I did was I just went ahead and pretty much like arts and crafts this thing back together <laughs> um so basically i just used coke as a little just magic glue and put them back together and um, we were really gentle with the with the baseboard itself whenever it did crack so we made sure that it didn't you know crack into a million pieces just into those two um which made it a lot more a lot easier to put back together All right, so now I'm just going ahead and adding more paint to the back of this wall. So this is where the wine fridge is gonna go, which you guys will see a little bit later. Um, so when we were originally painting this wall, we just kind of partially painted it, and so I just went ahead and completed it. <laughs> um, so now this is what it looks like with the cabinets over there, and all nice and neat. So here are the screws that we use, because we did go ahead and find the studs on this wall um, and went ahead and mounted these as if they were like truly, you know, base cabinets in a kitchen. Um, so Bear found the studs and all of the things and went ahead and made sure that it was nice and secure so that the cabinets will not go anywhere or do any shifting, especially when we get the countertop on. All right, so now it is time for us to cut our countertop. And so we chose a laminate countertop. I'll share a little bit more details about that here in just a second. Um, but what I'm doing is I am just marking where Bear needs to cut because we measured the space. So we have the measurements of exactly 
to the T what size the countertop needs to be and it's just a few inches too big. So um, I am just going ahead and taking my time. You always wanna make sure that you measure multiple times multiple times because you really only have one shot um so measure twice cut once is basically what bear said um so that's exactly what i'm doing here and then we're going to take it in the into the garage so that bear can cut the countertop So now that we have the countertop all measured out, uh, we have it down here in the garage so that we can go ahead and get this cut. So we purchased two of these uh, sawhorse stands. They were like 20 bucks a piece. So um, great starters for us, considering the fact that we don't really cut anything. <laughs> um, but this was like perfect for us to be able to lay the countertop across and then start cutting. So here you'll see it, like I didn't even speed this part up or anything, it was so quick. This circular saw cuts like butter, um, but I was definitely suffering from all of this sawdust. <laughs> and Bear had flashbacks of, um, what is it, wood shop back in high school. So yeah, like he was really out here doing his thing, y'all. <laughs> So it's a perfect fit and I edited out all the excitement that we had around it because we we're literally dancing behind the camera. <laughs> but we picked up this countertop from Ikea and here's the information on the screen because I cannot pronounce the name of it. But it is a laminate countertop found in their kitchen section and it was under $80. <laughs> the countertop installed I did not show that part but basically I just climbed into each of these cabinets and included in the cabinets themselves they have like these anchors that are on the inside and so I climbed in there and just went ahead and drilled the cabinets to the actual countertop itself so now what I'm showing here is we are mounting these two Ikea lac shelves so we've had these Ikea lac shelves for several years now um, and we just have not actually mounted them in the house anywhere so we figured why not use what we already have and we created some open shelving above the wine bar so I went ahead and picked up these uh, wall brackets as well from Ikea they were 75 cents um, and I had to take a little mom break because you know we have a toddler so there's that <laughs> um, but I picked up these little uh, wall brackets or mount brackets so that we can make the lac shelves a little more secured on the wall so they won't go anywhere so um yeah those little brackets themselves were only 75 cents highly recommend they were super easy to attach onto the ikea lac shelf um, as well as mount into the wall with some drywall anchors all right, so the Ikea countertop actually came with a little plastic covering, which was bomb. So as we cut and as we just kind of hung our open shelves and just worked on the countertop, we did not get any damage on it or anything like that because it does have this protective plastic on it. Um, so we just went ahead and removed that so I can go ahead and get that nice and clean. And now I'm going to go ahead and caulk in all of the gaps. So this is what made the wine bar itself look and feel built in, which I mean, I guess technically now it is built in, <laughs> but like this is what gave it like that finishing touch, that builder, like, oh, wow, like somebody actually came and did this. <laughs> No, we did it ourselves with our own two hands and I'm so proud. <laughs> um, so this is what you see. Like I said, using a caulk gun was like a lifesaver. Um, it really helped me just be a little more precise in where I had uh, my caulk placement. So I just went around all of the edges as well as underneath the cabinet. And I'm gonna show you guys here in just a second so that you guys can see what it looks like when the cabinet and the countertop are caulked together versus when they're not. Like it's a huge difference. So here is just a close up shot of the actual countertop and where I caulked in around between the countertop and the wall. Um, I did use painter's tape so that I wouldn't get any caulk or damage the actual countertop. And so when I did that, when I pulled off the painter's tape, it gave me a nice crisp caulk line, which is perfect. 
<laughs> and so you guys can see under here where I put in the caulk and so it, it looks nice and neat and I did clean up that little spot in the corner but um, it's all nice and neat and looks so professional so now it looks very seamless and then when we hop over to the other side you'll see where there is quite a bit of a gap so you see how unfinished that looks um, and this is also where I mentioned how our flooring is a little bit uh, uneven it's slightly uneven and so you can kind of see where it created a tiny bit of gap in the countertop um, but it's no problem because we ended up using caulk filling those gaps in and it looks super duper good and it's secure <laughs> All right, y'all, so now it is time for the wine fridge, the most exciting part. So we purchased this wine fridge on Amazon. I'll have it linked down in the description box uh, in my Amazon shop. And so uh, it is a 28 bottle wine fridge. It also came with a little wine set that included two vacuum bottle stoppers, a wine vacuum preserver, as well as a wine aerator and pourer. So it did come with a few goodies. It also comes with an extra rack uh, that you see me attempting to shove back in there <laughs> not realizing that um, so you can adjust the configuration of the racks as well um, and if you want to hang your wine glasses in there to chill your wine glasses those types of things um, you can kind of adjust that as you see fit so I thought this was super awesome um, and Bear actually picked it out he found it on Amazon and it's the perfect wine fridge we've been using it for a couple of weeks now and it's amazing. We did have to make a few adjustments over here at our wine fridge because we do have a lot of our um, our router, like our internet router and those types of things are over here. So as you can see, we just took that oscillating saw that I mentioned earlier by Dremel. Uh, we took that and we just cut a nice little square into the side, back side of the cabinet so that we can run the cords. And then we were easily able to have a surge protector back there as well so that we can plug up all of what we need, including the wine fridge. And then it fit perfectly. Of course this job is not complete without my little helper <laughs> um, but what I'm doing here is I am just measuring the cabinet toe tick so we purchased this from Lowe's of course along with the actual cabinets themselves and so as you can see right there that little brown spot that appears to be um, unfinished is where this is going to go so I just went ahead and took the tape measure and measured both cabinets so that bear can go ahead and get this nice and cut so that we can install them. And so we did notice that the toe kick itself is too wide, so Bear had to cut it um, to size both width and length. And yes, I know, that is glass cleaner, but there was so much sawdust on it, that was the closest thing near me so that I can get that toe kick cleaned off. So um, here I'm just gonna go ahead and install those, so now it'll be a finished look. As a finishing touch, we picked up some black handles from Ikea, so they match the countertop there, and we went ahead and just installed those to the drawers and doors of the cabinets. And we are all done! So it took several days <laughs> to complete um, in between, you know, parenting and whatnot, but you guys, we are so satisfied with the final look of this built-in wine bar. It just really brings our game room together. Like now I feel like our game room is complete. We have this beautiful wine fridge and all of this storage for our alcohol and wine bottles and just all of the things, party hosting stuff. I'm just so happy. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as we did making it. Um, I hope it gave you some inspiration to potentially do something around your house or spruce up a corner and potentially make something uh, of your own. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining and hanging out with me today. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you never miss an upload from me. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Mwah!